Hey guys, welcome back. 25 March 2022. Today's market. Bitcoin 44,240 going up, going up, going up. Ethereum is at 3,000. All right, that's a good sign. So today let's talk about Exxon. I do own Exxon stock. I've owned it for years, decades. I've, it's a dividend reinvestment stock. Ticker symbol XOM. And let me show it to you right here. Uh, this is the horrible Apple stock app. And uh, where is XOM? I am not seeing it. There we go. XOM. Look at this thing. It is doing well, obviously, for the obvious geopolitical reasons. And we are 4.23% yield. I've owned this thing. I've reinvested. I talked about reinvesting dividends. This is a winner for me. And uh, it's just making me passive income. But what makes this even more yummy is the headline. Let's go over to the headline. Here we go. ExxonMobil to pilot Bitcoin mining project with natural gas. ExxonMobil has reportedly launched a pilot program that will use excess natural gas to power cryptocurrency mining, Bitcoin mining. Yeah, basically, Bitcoin mining is preventing environmental damage because they're reusing this excess natural gas that is a, a byproduct of, um, of mining oil, right? Uh, ExxonMobil, the largest U.S. oil producer, is now diverting excess natural gas that would have been burnt, flared, and they're using that to mine Bitcoin. It's awesome. So they are actually being very environmentally sound by not just burning and flaring this crap off. They're actually using it and putting it to use to mine Bitcoin. Pretty cool. It is. It is. It says a lot about the company to be forward-thinking to see the benefit of doing that. It's its pretty impressive. So we got international oil gas giant ExxonMobil is running a pilot cryptocurrency mining program powered by excess natural gas from oil wells in North Dakota, according to a recent Bloomberg report. Okay, cool. Let's see. Exxon has reported a recent agreement with Crusoe Energy. Uh, they're a company that provides solutions to natural gas flaring. They'll take the gas from an oil well site in North Dakota to provide on-site power, on-site power to crypto mining hardware for assets powered by a proof of work, which is mining, crypto mining, consensus mechanism, Bitcoin, and current iteration of Ethereum. Oh, interesting. So not just on Bitcoin, you're doing Ethereum. Good for them, man. Gas flaring is the practice of burning. Natural gas generated from the extraction of oil. Instead of simply burning it off as a derivative of extraction, you know, wasting it, just burning it and wasting that energy, uh, they are now going to turn it towards powering the Bitcoin mining machines. Fantastic. Yeah, Bloomberg reports that the uh, people familiar with the matter as not to be named because the information is not public. Oh, that's interesting. The oil and gas company is also reported considering similar pilot programs in the U.S. state of Alaska and other countries listed below. Uh, they're looking at emerging technologies. Uh, the secret of mining uh, Bitcoin has generated controversy in the wake of an industry impact on environment. If anything, you're not really serious about this uh, climate change stuff and all that. I mean, supporting Bitcoin mining is actually making these companies be more efficient and not waste. So I don't know, guys. Be objective. Do your own research. Use your own critical thinking skills. Do not listen to legacy media that is speaking a narrative or the little greenies out there. They are utilizing waste and powering other means to produce revenue for the company. They're basically recycling the byproduct, which is pretty cool, right? Oh, my gosh. Uh, the Bitcoin network consumes an eye-popping 134 terawatt hours of electricity per year. This figure is also reveals that the network consumes more electricity than many countries. But, again, they're using a byproduct they waste to power this stuff. That's why these guys in other countries want to use volcanoes. It's pretty amazing. Uh, let's go on here. What is let's see? Uh, they're talking about the uh, resulting carbon footprint, environmental impact of energy consumption depends on the source of energy itself. Another matter of controversy within the crypto industry. All right, they're just going on about the, what they're using in that. But the fact, the fact that ExxonMobil, the largest U.S. oil producer, is now diverting the excess natural gas that would have been burnt and flared and just wasted. And they're using that energy, 
that product, that byproduct, that excess to mine Bitcoin, Ethereum is pretty, pretty damn cool. Anyway, that is all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, not much going on in mining. I am mining Ethereum right now. I'm mining uh, Raptorium. I'm looking at Pulsar, but I don't want to switch the rigs just yet. And uh, let's go look at, ah, I'm not going to switch it. I'll do another video on that once I get to it. Uh, I can't use XM rig to mine Pulsar. I have to use another miner. And that for me is a little pain because I got to download the miner. But I pretty much optimized it by using a memory a USB stick and I just bum, 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 pop it in each of the CPU rigs. I do not use HiveOS because I'm a cheapskate, even though it's pretty much free to do CPU mining. I just don't want a middleman yet. I do not want a middleman yet. So I, um, I just do it all by hand using Windows 10. All right, guys, that is all I got. Check out Exxon. Cool that they're using the uh, excess to, uh, to mine um, crypto Bitcoin. Love it. Love it. This, 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 is, this says a lot. That means they know this stuff is here to stay. 